all in one bass units. Can these things actually deliver decent amounts of bass? Man, I don't know. For something that's so small with the limited amount of power, you have to be skeptical. We'll be focusing on the Alpine PWE-S8. This is an all-in-one bass unit in this episode of Is It Worth It? Hey, what's up, Josh from Breaker Stereo and Performance. Welcome to the channel that reviews all the best in car audio, performance, suspension, and more. And if you're like us, or stock just doesn't cut it, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Okay, so there's a category in the car audio world that we at our shop don't sell a lot, but there is a market for it. That's the all-in-one low-profile amplified subwoofer enclosure. And sure, if you add this to an audio system with stock speakers running off the factory radio, this will definitely improve the sound by adding bass. But if you're adding a four-channel amp and some aftermarket speakers, can this keep up? Okay, we'll answer that question along with a few more in this video. First, we'll go over the optimal conditions where this unit would work. Then we'll go over the specs. And finally, we'll head out to the garage for a real world demonstration. So as far as ideal situations for a unit like this, this is going to be first and foremost, someone that's not looking for a lot of bass. This is meant to complement the system, not to be the focal point. So all you bass heads out there, this is not for you. So this will work best if you're planning on running the stock radio and OEM speakers. Also, if you're planning to change out the stock speakers and maybe even the stock radio, this is going to work well with that too. Now, what if you change out the front and rear speakers and even run an app dedicated to those speakers? Will this eight inch powered subwoofer keep up? We're gonna answer that question in our demonstration today. Now we have a 2014 Subaru Crosstrek and we're swapping out the head unit to an ILX W650 along with the S-Type speakers, both front and rear. And those speakers will be running off the Alpine S-Series four channel amp. So we'll see how this subwoofer system will do in that audio setup where you're improving sound quality and volume. But that's a little later in this video. Now this unit is small enough to fit under the front seat of some vehicles, but I would say not very many, especially if the seats are powered. Now this will work underneath the seat of an extended cab pickup or behind the seat of a regular cab. You can mount this in the trunk of a car without worrying if it'll get damaged because of the grill but I would highly recommend that you use an open trunk vehicle like hatchbacks, minivans, crossovers, or SUVs where the sound doesn't have to travel through the back seat. The vehicle that we're demoing today is a crossover and since he added the spare tire carrier, we removed the spare tire from the well and installed it in there, making a very clean installation. Okay, before we check that out, let's talk about specs. So first off, this has a built-in Class D 120 watt RMS and 240 watt peak amplifier. Now the woofer is an eight inch with a high excursion cone and the frequency response is 25 Hertz up to 152 Hertz. There's a variable low pass crossover that can be set from 50 Hertz up to 150 Hertz. And you do have phase control from zero to 180 degrees. Now there are RCA and speaker level inputs. So this will work with a factory radio or an aftermarket radio. Remote bass knob is included and the dimensions are 13.4 wide by 2.875 height and nine inches deep. Also, the enclosure is made of cast metal. Current retail price, $349. Okay, those are the specs. Let's hit the garage and check this thing out. All right, so this is a 2014 Subaru Crosstrek. Now we did a full system in this thing, got an IXW650 in the front. We have the S-Series components also in the front. We got the S-Series coaxials in the rear. We got the four channel S-Series underneath the seat. And then we have that powered eight inch subwoofer, not underneath the seat. He actually has a spare tire carrier on the back. So he didn't need that spare tire. So we actually put it in the spare tire well, which I personally like because a lot of times people do put this box underneath the seat. I'm an old school guy, so I always feel like my bass should be coming you know, from the trunk, okay? But bass is non-directional, but when you put it underneath the seat, you can definitely feel the bass rumbling underneath you. Okay, so let's take a listen to this and see how good it sounds. Okay, so a huge difference in the way it sounds. Now there is an attenuation knob that's mounted up front that's connected that actually comes with this box. And when I turn it down all the way, it's a huge difference between obviously 
just the speakers and then with the subwoofer. So that subwoofer does give it that nice ump that you need because obviously a six and a half inch speaker is not gonna produce, you know, 40, 45 Hertz bass note like a subwoofer does, even if it is an eight inch. So if you're looking to add some bass without taking up much space, this is definitely, definitely a good option, especially because it's the woofer, the box, the amplifier, and the bass knob. For 349 bucks, hard to beat, and it's Alpine too. So to answer the question, is it worth it? Yes, if you're the right candidate and if you have the right vehicle. All right, so if you're interested in this box, there's a link in the description below taking you directly to the product page. Remember, we do have financing available. Just simply add to cart, pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send your gear out to you ASAP. Okay, that'll do it. Again, my name is Josh. I'm with Breaker Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.